Good morning students. Today we will discuss neuronal communication. Neurons are the basic functional units of nervous system and they generate electrical signals called action potentials which allow them to quickly transmit information over long distances. So this one is the structure of a neuron. So before going to the communication between two neurons, we will just discuss what are the functions of each parts in a neuron. So first one is the dendrite. The function of dendrite is to receive stimulus and carries it towards the cell body. This one is a cell body with the nucleus. From the cell body, informations are carries through a fiber-like structure known as axon. From the axon, information passes to the dendrite of the nearby neuron through axon terminals. So, in short, we can say that impulses travels from dendrite to cell body to axon and then, then the dendrite of the next neuron. Like this, information passes from one neuron to another neuron. Uh, so, in order to understand neuronal communication, just go through this figure. Here, Pre-synaptic axon terminal. So, this one is the neuron A whose axon terminals are shown here. So, information from dendrite passes through the axon then to the axon terminals. So, this one is the neuron A. We have to transmit information from neuron A to the neuron B. That is from axon terminal of neuron A to the dendrite terminal of neuron B. So, this portion is known as presynaptic axon terminal and this portion is known as postsynaptic dendrite membrane that is neuron B. Dendrite of neuron B. This one is the axon terminal of neuron A. So, action potential arrives at axon terminals of neuron A. So, we want to transmit this information to neuron B dendrite. So, the junction between presynaptic axon terminal and postsynaptic dendrite membrane is known as synapse. So, when the action potential arrives at axon terminal, Neurotransmitters are released from axon terminal of neuron A to the dendrite terminal of neuron B. That is, in order to fill this gap, neurotransmitters are released from neuron A. The arrival of neurotransmitter causes a potential change in the dendrite membrane. This potential change produces action potential in neuron B. Neurotransmitter can either excite or inhibit the dendrite membrane. If the function of neurotransmitter is to inhibit dendrite membrane, it will not generate any action potential. If the function of neurotransmitter is to excite the neuron B, it produces action potential and the process repeats. Thank you.